Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Inheritor back again with another replay analysis. This is going to be for Adorabo um, in the rank Diamond 3 for the game mode Doubles. So, let's see what we find here. <clears throat> Okay, so first thing I want to point out right here when you went for this, you probably should have checked to see where your teammate was. They could have, could have, they weren't in this situation, but they could have been available for a pass. Um, but since they weren't available for a pass, what you could have done instead of just blasting it towards the net would have been to um, turn off ball cam and control the play with a dribble at your own pace potentially take it up the wall and try to pass it to your teammate It was a good challenge. Considering the opponent got bumped there, that, that's that was good. Good speed, although that was risky <clears throat> to go for. <clears throat> Be careful with things like that. Would have been a better off sitting when you went up the wall you would have been better off like chilling right here not in this angle but <clears throat> going up the wall maybe like this and just kind of chilling low to see what they did with the ball rather than going back onto the ground level because it probably wouldn't have gone past you if you were still on the backboard should have ball count yep there you go it's a decent flick. I'm not sure... I know what your intention was, although I'm not sure why you didn't take the time here. After you realized it was bouncing, you had more than enough time to turn yourself, like just back up and turn yourself to be able to get a proper hit on the ball. <clears throat> Real, in reality, that should have been a possession giveaway, but the opponents were slow and didn't go for it. Uh, feels back flip. <clears throat> it probably should have gone for a fast aerial here. Rather than a double jump aerial, you would have beat your opponent by a long shot with a fast aerial. Given how often you're doing double jump, uh, you should not be following this. Your teammate, if you look right here, you can tell your teammate's going to land on the backboard. You should assume that he will be able to get that t second touch, and you can hear him on the wall. He drove back down because you kept following it. <clears throat> Realistically, it should have been his clear. Um, so, this is twice now you've done double jump aerial versus fast aerial. So, if you don't know how to do a fast aerial, please utilize the coaching request room in my Discord server to, uh, get set up for a, uh, fast aerial coaching session. Good flick attempt. However, uh... Could have played it a little slower. Your, your opponents wasn't weren't the opponent wasn't challenging you, 
So realistically, you could have taken a lot more time there and uh, seen if seen it. I can't. I can't English today. Uh, and tried to see if the opponent would challenge you, and if they did, you probably would have had a pretty good opportunity to um, potentially drop the ball underneath them just by letting it roll off the nose of your car. Good flick, however, you could have looked to see if your teammate was in a position where you could pass it even though they weren't. Uh, you still should have looked anyway. You're not looking for your teammates at all. Could have gone for a doomsday dish here rather than sending it up. Uh, well, I guess the opponent was there, so it wouldn't have happened either way, but could have done that instead of taking it up in other situations that is if the opponent hadn't been there would have been a good doomsday dish opportunity that's just unfortunate um in regards to yourself you for one you should be rotating away from the play so you going back here for the boost i don't blame you for however just Keep in mind to try and rotate away from the play, even if it means you can't get 100 pads. There's at least three boost pads you can, three to four boost pads you can grab on your way to net, which is going to be approximately 46 to 48 boost, I think. I think maybe 48 boost. which would be more than enough to do what you need to do. Really, really risky challenging that early. Had that pinched in, in the direction of your net, it would have been really bad because you were both up and your teammate had no boost. Thank you for not still going for that. Happens. I know what you were trying to do. I don't agree. People do this shit all the time, and I just cannot gather what their thought process is. What makes you th what What makes you think that a flip reset is a good option for a clear right in front of your net? It's not a good idea. It's one thing if you're on the sidewall and you're a bit away, but you're not. You're right. You're. Where you are right now is right in front of your goal, more or less. I mean, that's an easy shot to your net. If you were to mess it up bad enough. <clears throat> Instead of trying to go for fancy shit, just clear the ball. Flip into it, try and clear it. Flip reset in front of your net. That's not good. <clears throat> Okay, it's a tie game and you're going for uh, air dribble. Not the smartest idea. <clears throat> Not to mention your teammate was moving to be in a position for a pass. You could have tried to pass it. Although you messed up the air dribble, which just goes to my point again, why? Air dribbles are not the way. Are you gonna go for an air? Okay, now we're doing flip reset fake. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Thought you were gonna actually go for it again. So, yeah, you, based off of how this looks, you don't know how to do a fast aerial. And you could have beat this man to this ball by a long shot with a fast aerial. You jumped a solid half of a second before he did, and he still pretty much almost beat you to that ball. That's the difference between a double jump and a fast aerial right there. <clears throat> a 
was a very poor choice for your teammate to go for that. I don't necessarily blame you for going for a bump attempt there. That wasn't a bad idea. I don't play for bumps, but if I did, and sometimes I do, I would probably go for something like that. <clears throat> Oh, rip. Should have been an OT goal and didn't get it. That sucks. Oh. So, um, do I blame you for going for this off the kickoff? No. Was it your fault for following, like, d I mean, the only thing you could have done better is actually hit the ball. Because you missed that touch, which ultimately gave away ball possession. However, uh, not the worst thing I've seen in terms of ball possession giveaways. The biggest thing I see is one, if you don't know how to fast aerial, Please learn how to fast aerial. That will make a big difference to your gameplay. Two, be looking around for your opponent, uh, your your uh, teammates. It's not often you can do pull off passing plays, but by some odd chance there is a way. Do it. Look around for your teammate. If they're in a spot where you can pass it to them and not blast it way high above them where they're not fast enough to get to it, like a, gr a grand champ could do it where i mean but that means once you pass it you need to be heading back in the situation that they do miss if they hit it turn around and put yourself in the appropriate position for the play but other than that i don't see a whole lot wrong with this particular gameplay i have seen a lot more in your streams than i did here but I also know that this is a long time ago and supposedly not your current rank. So if you want some more accurate replay analysis, then I would advise saving some games for, uh, for more recent games and sending that my way. Because I know for a fact there are several things I saw the last time I popped into your stream and I didn't see those things in this. And I know you you had mentioned that before you were such and such rank and now you're whatever rank. So in turn in regards to this replay not bad. The only things I noticed was one you didn't fast aerial. There was a couple of positioning things um and uh, you're not looking around for your teammate to try even remotely try to make a play happen. You're just trying to solo play it with backup. Which is okay at times, but if you can pass play, then you're more likely to score. If you have further questions, you know how to get a hold of me. I'm available pretty much at all times during the evenings, Eastern Standard Time. Um... in my discord server or on my stream so feel free to uh contact me however you need to uh just focus on those things for now and uh try to send me a more recent replay so i can see some more accurate uh to your rank replay uh gameplay rather but that's all i got for you man I hope this helps to some extent, and I wish you the best of luck with your games. And as always, I will catch you next time. Deuces!